welcome back to another random one wheel ride. So we're picking off from the last video where I spent a day in the park. This is the second half and then I'll be heading home. Again, much like the first last video, I don't see myself saying much. It's more just enjoying the sights. If there is something worth pointing out, I'll point that out. But again, to recap, it's sunset, so the lighting is great and everything looks beautiful. I decided to cut across the grass here. It's a little bit more difficult because it's, I guess you say off-road. And the Pint X that I'm riding on, it's okay, but it's mostly made for like sidewalk, not so much the off-road kind of stuff. It'd probably be easier on the one-wheel GT. Decided to do a little whoop-de-doo here around this uh, fountain that's turned off. So I decided to call it a day as far as running around the park. I started to head on home. But rather than tracing back the exact same route as I did to get to the park, I'm going to deviate a little bit here. But this part is the same as when I entered, just in the reverse direction. And of course it's East San Jose, so it's a little messy in some places. So you see in the top of the screen there, that's uh, the hospital that I work at. And 
And coming up here is that hazard I mentioned in the previous video, the black top right there. It's very uneven and it, if you're not ready for it, it can throw you off. Now this was a little scary because I don't think that bus there saw me at all. All this office space here you see is uh, part of the medical campus. So it's fairly large. Here we come to the emergency side of the building. I'm going at a pretty quick pace here. I'm wondering if I zoned out and didn't really notice how fast I was going at this time. It's such a nice day, it's possible. Now up ahead is where I'm going to deviate from the route I took to get to the park. I came from the left hand side and instead of taking a left here I'm going to go straight and come around the other side. And this route that I go through here is it's not one I go as often, but I'm still fairly familiar with it. Doesn't anything really of a hazard. Then there's one area where it just gets kind of narrow. But other than that, the sidewalk's good. And even though I don't travel it as much as my other routes, uh, I'm perfectly comfortable here. And yeah, right here is where it gets a little bit narrow. I just kind of slow down a little bit just because... I don't want to get check myself. And just in general, this sidewalk is much skinnier than the previous sidewalk. So if I do have to pass someone, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, I might have to actually just stop in some cases. So as we approach this next street, it's kind of a main street for this neighborhood. A lot of heavy traffic, it's got a express bus lane. Here's somebody with the pass by. Here, this sidewalks are wider, so it wasn't a problem getting by there. And here is a little market area with a few businesses. 
I don't spend a lot of time here. Unless I have like a little emergency situation, I just shop in other areas. But there's a little market just in case I need to grab something really quick. Up ahead there's like a Zumba dance class kind of studio. There's a bar up ahead that's kind of a hole in the wall kind of place. Never been there. And then the other side of this building is the parking lot for an auto zone, which is where my apartment building is behind. And we're coming up to the end of the ride for the most part. The only thing I'm going to point out is uh, up ahead there's the gate. It's always trickier than it looks just because of the pitch of the entrance. You're going to see that I'm kind of almost lose my balance there. Yep, almost lost it there. And with that, we come to the end of our ride, and I'll see you on the next random one-wheel ride. Thank you.